So everything was down. So according to the CNBC article, it says businesses worldwide grappled with an ongoing major IT outage Friday as financial services and doctor's offices were disrupted while some TV broadcasters went offline. Air travel has been hit particularly hard with planes grounded, services delayed, and airports issuing advice to passengers. So a lot of people all over the world, they couldn't fly, and they're anticipating that these flights, even up until Monday, won't go out. Like they're so grounding. there's no planes flying right well, now. Well, only the planes that are connected to this particular cybersecurity company called CrowdStrike. Right. So it says the outage came as cybersecurity giant CrowdStrike experienced a major disruption early Friday following an issue with a recent tech update. And I believe that CrowdStrike has a direct link with uh, Microsoft. So a lot of companies that use anything related to Microsoft, then they are more likely the companies that experienced the outages. And apparently a lot of major airlines um, are connected with CrowdStrike mm -hmm. and Microsoft. So with the company CrowdStrike, the CEO is uh, George Kurtz. Um, yep. uh, well, okay, you caught it. Yeah, so he is a J person, uh -huh. uh, okay? And apparently, according to the article that I read, he frequently visits the iCountry. Mm. So CrowdStrike is one of the largest U.S. cybersecurity companies in the world, okay? And apparently, they set up a large research and development center in the I country. Mm. We're going to look at basically the connections of cybersecurity in the United States with the I country. So I'm going to pull up this article. Boy, I bet this is a can of worms. It is a can of worms that I only started looking into this morning. So there's still a lot more to look into. So it says CrowdStrike will not be the first U.S. company to make a major move this year. And this article was written in 2022 into iCountry's uh, cybersecurity industry. In January, Google acquired the iCountry's uh, cybersecurity company, Siamplify, oh for $500 million after buying U.S. company Mandiant which has a development center in the iCountry. So Microsoft already has a large cybersecurity center in the iCountry focusing on cloud applications. And Akamai and Salesforce also have centers in the iCountry focusing on cybersecurity. So it lets mm. you know how connected cybersecurity in the US with the iCountry is in the i country that's bad news you know they've committed terrorist attacks on our country on numerous occasions and so mm -hmm. it's like if they're in charge of our cyber security they could basically do something else and then shut us down at the same time and it would be like i mean that's not good it exactly so that's exactly what we're getting into so we heard about the attack that happened yesterday apparently yemen uh, launched an attack on the I country. I did see that. Yes. So it, it is real funny. It happened on the same day, pretty much, right? Yeah, that seems fishy. It seems Was that very at the same fishy. time? What time was that? Well, I couldn't, I couldn't find the time for the attack. Yeah, I was looking, I heard scrolling about that, through, though. but yes. So I was like, wait a minute, because I was trying to find the connection there. So apparently they're saying Yemen, um, who has the group Houthis, which is similar to Hamas, they launched an attack attack in the I country to defend the Palestinians because they didn't like what was going on there. Somebody's got to do it because it sure as heck ain't going to be the U.S. So it's kind of weird, right? Because if, if you're looking at the I country, it has the most advanced security defenses pretty much in the entire world. But this is the second time that an attack has been able to happen. Right. It's mm. been able to get through in the I country. And some people are like, OK, like, obviously, yes, there are going to be instances where, you know, you're not going to be able to block everything. But I, I want to read just a little bit from this article. So it says an I country military official said the drone was detected by an I country aerial defense system 
but not intercepted due to human error. Hmm. So they could detect it, right? They're like, okay, it's coming, but they weren't able to stop it. That's interesting. So they're not invincible. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'd think with all the money that we've sent them over all the decades, like we, we pretty much built their whole country for them. Mm -hmm. We built their whole military for them. We built their whole everything for them, right? That's almost like what the U.S., like what our purpose is almost. We defeated their enemies in World War II. Mm -hmm. We created the country. Brit British created the country after World War I. And... Uh, you know, they've been basically using the Anglo Empire as their tool for world domination. What do you mean by the Anglo Empire? I mean Britain before World War II mm -hmm. and the U.S. after World War II has been their kind of dummy military, mm. right? We have gone to war in every country that they wanted yeah. To, to, to take resources, to set up central banks, yep. to do all of this stuff, right? And to expand yep. their little empire in the Middle East, mm -hmm. their, their little territory for them. Yep. It's like, boy, we got bombed. Now it's time to shut everything down and send us into a panic, or I don't know what they were planning, what they yeah, were trying to do with that. Yeah, that's kind of what I was trying to figure out what was going on around that, because... It did, the, the timing of it seemed uh, very strange, right? And some people may argue that, well, maybe the attack uh, was the reason everything shut down. But yeah, I, I feel I mean, like if maybe, that were true, they would have said that. Maybe it hit one of their servers and that's why everything went down. But wouldn't they have said that? No, they would not have said that. They would have lied and lied and lied and lied and lied, right? They never tell us what's really going on. Yeah, but... About it, anything. It seems to me that it's possible that everything went down because there's something they're trying to hide around this or they're preparing. And this is my whole reason. One of the huge reasons why I believe everything went down is because they're preparing yeah. for the biggest one to come. It does seem preparatory. Absolutely, because if you're going to do it in the middle of the night, it kind of reminds me of when they stopped counting in the middle of the night on election night, oh. right? Yeah, like all of this stuff happens basically in the middle of the night mm -hmm. when people are asleep. And, uh, you know, uh, some people may be watching this. You're like, well, I'm from this country or that country, right? It didn't happen in the middle of the night for everybody. But, right. you know, it did happen in the middle of the night basically here in for, the, United, for the States. United States. Yeah. yeah. And that's their main workhorse. Mm -hmm. you know despot you know whatever you want to call it yeah like and they little, need little to keep state. us in ignorance probably more than any other country right because we still have arms here mm -hmm. and we would probably be able to resist to a large degree more than any other country yeah because essentially we fight for them <laughs> right so yeah of course you know we would America is a powerhouse right yeah, now. Yeah, if they ever lost America, they would, I probably, I mean, it would probably be kind of like what they did to Germany, right? They lost control of Germany, so they basically used all the rest of their little puppets to completely obliterate it. Yep, they sure did. And that's what I worry about here. Like, if, if they lose control, which I think is happening in real time, yeah, then they're going to use their little puppets to basically do to us what they did to Germany. I mean, the bottom line is there are many times more of us than there are of them mm -hmm. right and for them to control us it, it requires very precise you know very deceptive tactics like all the stuff that they've been doing to us for the last however many decades and centuries that's what it takes to enslave us yep and so when that falls apart and the slaves turn on their masters i mean the masters don't have a chance right unless they can turn AI against uh, yeah, the people. Yeah, sure, right. Yeah, they have like a, some kind of a droid army or whatever, like just mm -hmm. like the Star Wars or, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's exactly what they're working on. A lot of times, if, if you watch movies like iRobot, you're like, oh, well, that's just a movie. No, like I always say, they're telling you exactly what is to come. And when they shut everything down, this is going to be the, the newest form of a pandemic. Okay, because you won't be able to travel, you won't be able to eat, you won't be able to go anywhere, you won't be able to really talk to anybody unless there are people who are directly in your household. 
kind of like what happened for people during the time they shut everything down temporarily on Friday. Think of how much we rely on stuff like that. I mean, that's why it's important to have cash and, uh, you know, do things in your local community. And I, I bet you the mom and pop shops were open for business. You're right. Nothing happened with them. Yeah. I bet you the Amish still to this day have no idea that that even happened. <laughs> they probably don't even know. They I don't know. even know. So, y'all, that's why we always talk about um, just getting ready and preparing. And if you haven't, because we actually made a channel around that. Um, we have a new YouTube channel where I, I think you want to get to 1,000 subscribers yeah, first. We want to get to 1,000 subscribers first. And if then we we'll, can, we'll if, if we need stuff. to post a video, you know, but yeah. Yeah. You know, we may do a video before then. Yeah, yeah maybe. Ideally, we'd like to get to 1,000 subscribers first and then get the ball rolling. Uh, just talking about ways to prepare for what's to come. So if you haven't subscribed to that channel, we're going to leave the link in the description. Um, go ahead and subscribe to that channel. And then also, if you'd like to just jump on board, like we always talk about, and, and just get ready for what's to come, uh, make sure you check out other things in the, the description for how you can roll with us, y'all. And uh, we're going to get going, man. Mm -hmm. So anything else? No, I guess this is kind of a short one today. All right. Well, y'all want to thank you so Stay much vigilant, for watching. Right? Stay That's vigilant. That's my, my only thing. Stay vigilant, right? Be smart mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, be prepared. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Stay vigilant, be prepared, and stay prayerful, y'all, because right. these are crazy times we're living in. But that is all. We want to thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, take care. God bless you. And we'll see you in the next one.